Welcome back to Mass Effect. JC here. And today, <coughs> we... We're gonna go hunt down that. What we found out last time. Which was yesterday for me, so I have to remember these things. It is... Here. Depot. Then we do the strange transmission. <coughs> And any of the other missions that are lying around, which are probably all done, and then we do very, very late on, we do uh, the only piece of DLC that's in the first game that's still available, which is fun. No, probably the rewards from that I should have done much earlier in the game, but I forgot. I'm an idiot like that, and I forget to do these things. A lot easier in the next two games to do the DLC when you're supposed to do them. Mostly because it shoves it in your face and goes, hey, you might want to do this. Nothing there. This system's a big fat nothing, isn't it? Wow. What a letdown. Fine. <laughs> we got the uh, space station appears to have been assembled from off-the-shelf civilian ship modules of diverse origins. There are no obvious hull markings and it's not broadcasting any ID signals. Board it. We know what it is. We know what it contains. What do you see there's markers? Ugh. I was going to say hose down the door, but... I'm not doing the usual trick. I was using the mini map for that one. Right. Oh, it's a narrow little corridor thing. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I missed my opportunity.
Ali's like, yeah, I'm on that. My shotgun hungers for the enemy. Oh, it's off down in there. Okay. Well, that's alright then. I don't have to deal with that for my time being then. What do you reckon there's going to be like a time limit? We have to just sprint out of here as fast as we possibly can. So eliminating the everything before we go was probably a very good idea. Because I do remember one of these maze-like things. Was an issue like that. Gobbed on me. I don't like it when they do that. It's dirty horrible. Right, I'm just going to keep clicking until I get through. Thank you. Thankfully, if anybody's actually playing this, there is a mod to disable the minigames even in this version of the game. I decided not to install it. <laughs> Idiot. Right, okay. It's all clear. That's, that's getting lost. Right, remember. There is a set pathway through all of this. Uh, I didn't need to do that bit. Look at all this stuff you're supposed to grab. You better grab it first. Yes, I'll do uh, inventory after this episode. Well, oh, nothing in the bridge. Rally round. So come on, get off the corner. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma 23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete, and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. Cerberus. Damn, we should have known. Yep. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the master control unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. 
Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is... Screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. Another batch of experimental Rachni get loose. These things need warning labels. Shh. I don't think warning labels are really going to do it when they're trying to claw your face off. Let's go. The escape Rachni definitely came from this station. Though the motives behind this Cerberus group are vague. To prevent further contamination, arm the station's scuttle charges and evacuate to the Normandy. And no money because we're the fools. Okay. Arm the charges. And all the bugs come out. As of course they do. Negative contacts, Commander. Yeah, we're done here. I got exploded on a couple of times, but we're good. And there we go. You cleared the base of Ragnar and destroyed. Destroyed that this was and discovered that this was another Cerberus secret experiment. Yeah. At least they won't be breeding Rachni anytime soon. All we got left is these strange transmissions. And then the Citadel. Uh, deal with him at some point in time. Right, well we've got two. There's one extra there that isn't listed, obviously. We've got that. But we've just got the strange transmission. DLC and um, Vermeer on towards end of game. So we're getting there. Soon. Trade bug? That's a pretty cluster. Look at that. Looks like somebody came along and just dropped something in there. <laughs> you know, when you drop oil on a puddle of water, don't do that. These funky effects, though. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. 
What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Ah, oh, oh, but, but, but hack it, hack it. I've got a maxed out charm score. I can talk anyone into doing anything given the IO options. If there's a way that the game says you can charm the pants off them and get them to do what you want, I can do it. I've got the score for it. Also, I have tea. Obviously what's going to happen. You just go, look, come to my way of thinking. We have tea. Biscuits too, if you want them. Tea and biscuits, come on. That's the ultimate win over here. Well, maybe unless you're a Turian, then you have to give them special biscuits. That defeats the purpose, really. I saw something blinking here. There it is. Survey that. One medallion, yeah, I've found more League of One medallions. Come on. Alright. Landing time, people. Where we going? There's a biotic compound. There's an anomaly. There's debris. Attack the anomaly. Something over here. My reckoning is that'll be another Threshmore. Either way, I'm not going to make you watch me go round and round and round in circles while shooting at something. And I will bring you back when we're about to hit the compound and see if I can talk my way out of this, which is highly likely. Right, welcome back. We've just come across the uh, facility and I've just spotted a shiny. So you're going to have to wait a moment. <coughs> this golden looking metallic turd against this mountain needs to be investigated. Securing point. Don't, don't, don't get out of the way. Oh, it is gold. Survey the golden turd. Oh, balls. There we go. Uh, tiny map experience. Nursing. Well, that door's locked. We go have a knock on this door. Hell. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. 
I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Because I'm a consummate lazy git who always suspects that I'll have to exit in a large firefight. Moving out. I'm gonna park the Mako right by the exit so I can just hop out and go straight in. Alright then. Yes, if you hadn't have talked them down, you would have had to have murdered them all inside there. Unlocked access to this section, then murdered them all inside here as well. But because I offered charm and tea, I was willing to talk. God, this would be a nasty thing to have to fight your way through. Mind, if, mind me if I just nick your shinies, yeah? Cool. Don't mind and all that. Ooh, you're sneaky. Oh, there's only one shiny to go and collect. No, I need that. You don't. And that object just needs a quick smack on the side. You know, cussively adjusted. Fit for purpose. It opens. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please. Give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the 5th Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. <laughs> yes. You should return to Normandy and notify the, uh, the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Notice a pair of them showed up with um, shotguns.
So that was a double charm check there. I'll have that on my way up. Yes, hello, creepy cultists. Yes. Goodbye. Absolute nutcases. Ah, hello, ship. <laughs> Face full of Mako tire. Get in. Turn to the Normandy. <clears throat> Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. He's like, I don't know how you did it. Well, <clears throat> having a maxed out charm score and mm, ship's worth of tea on offer works every time. Well, other than that one time on Ferris. But he deserved it. Well, there you go. That is a sight we like to see. Only the major areas left and None of these will have resources. I can guarantee you that because it's actually a occupied system. <coughs> I should really leave it up for a second. outside the salt system. Until next time, this is JC, out. <laughs>